Here we are. Here we are, people. You're watching another Loot Links Brighton vlog, and we're here at Goodison Park for the first time and for the last time because this place is going to be gone next season. There's going to be a new place for the Everton, and that's where we're going to be hopefully next year. So, um, but we're here today, all right, in this very traditional ground. It's quite a small ground if you think about it. You know, big club Everton, big club in the name, but this stadium. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, as you'll see in a minute when we go on a little montage around it. What an interesting game it's going to be today. We're going to go round, as we normally do, interview some people, get inside the ground and give you the action that you want to see. It's a big game today and my score prediction is going ahead forward. Look, we've got to go for something new. We've got to go for something different. Positivity is coming your way today. 3-0 to the Albion. It's written all over it. We're going to get the win. And to be honest with you, goal scorers, I don't even mind who scores. But today, 3-0 is what I'm asking for. And hopefully we can get it because Brighton have not won a game in four of their last Premier League matches. So today is massive and we need that win to get us back into good form in this league. Anyways, we're going to go around the Everton Stadium and uh, we're going to go inside and see what's going on. But it is very wet out here. It's raining and uh, it's very cold. It's a lot different to the south, but... We love it, we love it. Anyways, Loot Links on tour again around the UK. Here we are in Liverpool. Yeah. Just you, me, and the odds. We stuck together. We two peas in a pod. All right, then, boys and girls, here we are with the very first interview of the game in the fan zone of Everton. We're here with Andrew. Now, look, we're in the fan zone here, and we've obviously, we obviously got a big fan zone being built for us. How do you feel, Andrew, about that? Is not is it probably one of the biggest projects that's been for a while that Brighton are doing? I think having this project on the way if we get approval and I really, really and, I, and I really really do hope we get approval for it because I think it'd be a fantastic thing for the club we need something at the Amex that's going to be there for everybody to use Definitely. and they're going to use it for all sorts from conferences to you know from the wider communities to be able to come in and, and use it but yeah for match days it's going to be wonderful if it really goes ahead yeah. just what we need you yeah. know fantastic yeah i mean indoor space it's uh, it's gonna be good for the rainy days for the interviews going in there causing some atmosphere and uh yeah maybe people more people stay after the game and maybe go in there as well but look we're here today against everton we lost against them last time 5-1 at the amex but we're very good at playing them here in goodison park what's going to happen today andrew let the people know at home wow we've come up here for a win that's what we're going for and uh deserve he's going to put the right team out I'm sure he will. I've got absolute faith in this manager. He will do everything he can. We've got injuries, but I think there's enough in that team to, to turn this game around today. And, you know, we've just got to forget whatever defeats we've had before with Everton and, and go for the win. We have yeah. to. You know, we're, we're in a good position within the league and we've yeah. just got to try and see if we can maintain that. And with European football coming up as well. And it's, it's, it's a full-on schedule, but, you know, it's just the injuries that are the, are the main yeah. issue at the moment. Definitely. You know, with Solly being out and Mr. Pinyan, he's still he's still struggling, but he's on his way back, and yeah. uh, he won't risk him for today's game because it's just you know it's it's too early a game. Give him another, you know, leave him out on this one, and then kind of yeah, get him back for the European game if you can. Yeah. And then we've got another Premier League match coming up the following weekend. So I mean. You know, we've got Lamptey back. Do you reckon we'll see him again today? I'd love to see Lamptey back. I think he's absolutely a fantastic player. Yeah. He certainly gives other teams a lot of problems when he certainly pace. comes on. He's pace. got the pace, he's, yeah. he's got the quickness down the wing, and it's just, you, really, you can play him anywhere, to be honest yeah. with you. You know, he's, yeah. he likes to be able to get in the box, likes to be able to take shots. It's just whether or not, you know, just hope they, they include him in the first 11. To get him on the to get him on the pitch. So. So then, lastly, what is your score predictions, Andrew? Before we get any more wet, it's cold up here, isn't it? As well. Freezing. It's a little bit chilly, but there again, that's what you get for being up here this far. So two one, two one Albion. It's got to be. Big up, Andrew. Appreciate you coming on, man. Thanks for coming on. Let's get out of this rain and uh, yeah. <laughs> 
get dealt a bad hand I'm there season the cards We'll never be separated till we see in the guards We've been low together, high forever Long as we go together, we'll die we'll never Be a light, couldn't let the darkness try you ever Truth in my word, you I lied to never And when the world gets a little too hard Wipe your eyes, put away your sorrow When it's war, I'll be leading the charge And I'll be still fighting for you tomorrow Yeah, even with a blindfold or in different time zones Could find my way to you with my eyes closed There's nothing between us Go to Mars and Venus Stand in front of every one of them rocks They slinging and be a shield yeah. Alright, we're here with George in the concourse It's very squishy um, We're just going to go forward here let this guy go. <laughs> As we're saying, it's very, very squishy in here. Um, but look, George, tell me, are you confident today? Not so confident? You know, we haven't won in four games in the Premier League yet, so is it is it the day? Do you know what? I'm not as confident now as I was when I bought my ticket. Okay. Trouble is, Everton picked up form. They need to. They're fighting for their lives. Yeah. And, you know, we learned from last time when we played them. Their midfield is strong, and we yeah. struggled to cope with that. Yes. At the same time, though, we need a win. Yeah. So, can I ask um, for the Everton fans watching at home, who would you say is a threat going up today against Everton? For me, Adelaide Decore, personally. Ooh, okay. In yeah. the midfield, he absolutely outrun us last time we faced yeah. each other. Yeah. And then on top of that, I'd say Dominic Calvert Lewin as well. He always finds Dominic. a way to really give defenders a tough time. So, yeah, definitely. definitely. Hopefully, McNeil is going to be playing today because, you know, all that celebration that he was doing at the Amex Stadium. But look, I want to just ask what do you reckon? Is this your first uh, time ever in Goodison Park? Yeah, this is a new one for me. I've been yeah. to Liverpool, I've done Anfield, Goodison Park. Yeah. New one for me. Same as me. And uh, what, do you, what do you think about it? What do you rate it? I like it. It's old school. The fans have been very friendly so far. So, yeah. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, yeah. And you're excited for. Obviously, hopefully, if they stay in the Premier League next year, going to the new ground, it's pretty exciting, isn't it? Saw so it on the Metro on the way through. That looks incredible. So, looks incredible, doesn't it? You know, if they're in the Championship, then a message to the Championship fans next year: go along if you can. It or Premier League fans if they're still up. Yeah. But that looks like it's going to be an amazing away day. Definitely, George. Hope we win today. Good to see you, mate. Pleasure to see you, Luke. Thank you very much, mate. Awesome. Awesome. All right, people. We're here with Mary. What do you reckon, Mary, today? My, I think my heart says 3-1. My head says I'll take a draw. Yeah. Obviously, we've been struggling, haven't we, recently, but hearing that Tarek Lamptey's back, do you reckon that'll be a good helping hand, good pace? I think so. The bench the bench looks solid as well. So, yeah, I yeah. think a draw, a draw I would take, but I'd love a win, especially after yeah. what happened at home. So, I would... It's a good I shout. Talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Reminding it, remind it. Obviously, you told me it's your first time here today. Yeah. What do you reckon about it, Goodison Park? It's the last time we're going to be able to be here. And uh, what do you reckon as a stadium? It's nice. Like yeah. the the vibe is really old school. So old school. I like it. Well like said. It. Well said. Well, what do you reckon today? Four 0 <laughs> Double from Adam, Adam Lallana and James Milner. Ex Liverpool. All the spice. Easy points. Three points. Go home happy. Game set that match now. 100%. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right, Will, tell me, is this your first time here as well? It is. Right. What do you reckon then? As I mean, a stadium, old I school? Like, I like the old school stadium. I understand why they're knocking it down. Yeah. Um, new stadium next season. Good luck for that. But I'm glad we get to see it before it goes. And hopefully they'll still be in the league because I'd love them to be. But uh, we'll see. Yeah. So, for the Everton fans, who would you say is a Brighton threat going up against them today? So if, if there was an Everton fan right here, which there basically is through the camera, who would you say they should look out for? I mean, obvious would be Ferguson, but he's been on a bit of a slope yeah. since Newcastle. So I think maybe a drinker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a drinker is a good, very, very good shout. What do you reckon, Will? And Sue Fatty off the bench. She's got a one billion release clause. There's no way you can't score a goal a game if you've got a billion pound player. But we'll go for that, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Will, thank you. Mary, thank you very much. Thank you. Lalana, interesting. Bill Cossies. Paul Ray, 
save. It's a great save. Joking. It was. See the crowd's reaction. It's taken a long time. Great. Brilliant. Oh my god. Another possible foul, but it should have been for us. They go forward. Already seen, we've got another rubbish ref. Shocking referee again. Again. Oh, this is perfect positioning for him as well. And there we go. And there we go. One nil to Everton at half time. Right, a little Lukey Links rant. Um, yeah, first half, I don't normally do, you know, analyse the game at half time. I normally keep it to the end, but we've got a lot to talk about. And first of all, I'll start with the positives. You know, James Milner, Adam Lalana, they look up for it. Like, they're the only ones I'm seeing that are really pressuring going forward. Uh, and also defensively as well. I can see they're running, they're making quick, quick passes. And um, yeah, they look up for it. And you know, I've, is it because it's Everton? Is it not? Is it psychological? I don't know. But, yeah, I, it's, it's not working, you know. It really isn't. I mean, going forwards, the, the, the passes have been really poor. The refereeing has been dreadful. I will say that. The refereeing has been absolutely dreadful. Um, and we need to have another look. I mean, I'll have a look when I get home and, and see, you know, that VAR and see if it really was offside. Uh, a lot of people said it was, it was close, you know, but... I don't know. Yeah, first half really wasn't good. Really wasn't what we wanted either. It's it's like we got the first half curse, isn't it? Every first half just doesn't seem to be very good. We're, we're always losing or we're down or we're not. Even if we are winning, we're not having a great great spell. We always come back second half, and I never like to watch football like that, you know, because it disappoints you and suddenly it shocks you at the end. But all I can do is beg that we come back because honestly, we really need a win here. Um, and obviously the fans travel a long way to Liverpool, it's a long way, so come on, we need something, we really, really do. Um, so let's get it. Second half, here we come. Make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying what you're watching and uh, let's get on with it. Anyways, here we go, second half. Gio Pedro, the only substitution made. Let's do it. Gio Pedro going to save the day again. Come on. 
I'll show if you want. Just outside the D, it's a good opportunity here for Dunk, you know, one of his knuckleball specials. It's gonna be anyone team. Come on. Brilliant. Oh, oh! Even better. We know John Pitford's good though, but keeps getting better and better, Dunk. Keeps getting better and better. Fair play. A nil to the referee, one nil to the referee, one nil. Cross it. Okay, it's in the box. No. Oh! Crikey guys, crikey! Yeah, I tell you what, that was uh, that was certainly an interesting, interesting game. Same result as Fulham. It felt very similar in, in in some ways, but sort of hurt more a little bit as well. Refereeing was um, I didn't think you could get worse than the Fulham one, but that really did hit it on the head with that. Um, I also think we were worse than we were against Fulham uh, as well. So all in all, I think, you know, we've gone down even from Fulham and I didn't think that. We had a week to prepare for this and we just didn't really use that time to change much. I felt like we've just come from Fulham and, and we still had a negative face. But I've seen these players train and they just looked so positive to go into this game. But... I don't know, it uh, obviously wasn't to be in the end. Uh, Everton got a draw, I think 
you guys would probably be quite happy with it. Um, I, for some reason, just don't feel happy with it. The match reaction video, we've got two interviews there. Um, but look, guys, please do subscribe. Turn the bell notifications on and like the video for the prayers, please. For the prayers, for the Albion. Let's just... Let's just get it done. Takes two seconds. Um, and I'm going to travel uh, home. Well, sorry, back to the hotel and uh, sleep it off. Sleep the hangover off because tomorrow I'm going to remember this and it's not going to be nice. So let's get on with it. Anyways, peace out here for the very last time and for the first time in Goodison Park. Yeah, I enjoyed myself.